Did you know that suppressing negative emotions can actually increase stress and anxiety levels? It's important to acknowledge and process all your feelings, not just the positive ones, for better mental health. Hey there, friends, it's Saeed Risalat, and I'm here to share something important with you. Have you ever felt pressured to stay positive even when things weren't going well? Join me in exploring the truth about toxic positivity and why it's crucial to embrace a more authentic approach to life. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Introduction The Double-Edged Sword of Positivity Meet Sarah. She was known for her sunny disposition, always looking on the bright side of life. Friends and colleagues admired her unshakable optimism, and she often became the go-to person for a dose of positivity. But when Sarah faced a serious personal crisis, her relentless positivity became a barrier to dealing with her true emotions. Instead of allowing herself to grieve and process her pain, she plastered a smile on her face and kept telling herself, everything will be fine. This is the story of how positivity, when taken to the extreme, can turn toxic. Welcome to our discussion on the hidden dangers of ignoring the truth in the name of positivity. In this video, we'll explore the concept of toxic positivity, its psychological underpinnings, and its impact on our mental health and relationships. We'll also provide practical tips for balancing positivity with realism, fostering authentic positivity, and creating a supportive environment where vulnerability is embraced. By the end of this video, you'll have a deeper understanding of how to maintain a positive outlook without losing touch with reality. So, let's dive into the double-edged sword of positivity and uncover the hidden dangers of ignoring the truth. Chapter 1. Understanding Toxic Positivity Let's start by understanding what toxic positivity is. Toxic positivity is the belief that no matter how dire or difficult a situation is, one should maintain a positive mindset. While this might seem harmless or even beneficial, it often leads to dismissing genuine emotions and experiences. For example, Telling someone who just lost their job to look on the bright side can invalidate their feelings of loss and frustration. Healthy positivity encourages growth, resilience, and optimism. It acknowledges challenges but maintains hope and a proactive attitude. On the other hand, toxic positivity is an overgeneralization of a happy, optimistic state that results in the denial, minimization, and invalidation of authentic emotional experiences. It creates a facade of happiness and forces people to ignore their true feelings, leading to emotional suppression and isolation. It's important to differentiate between being generally optimistic and adopting a toxically positive outlook. Healthy positivity is balanced and allows room for all emotions, recognizing that it's okay to not be okay sometimes. Understanding this distinction is crucial for maintaining mental health and fostering genuine emotional well-being. In the next chapter, we'll delve deeper into the psychology behind why people adopt toxic positivity and the impact it has on their mental health. Chapter 2. The Psychology Behind Toxic Positivity Why do people cling to toxic positivity? Psychologically, it's a defense mechanism to avoid confronting uncomfortable truths. This behavior often stems from a desire to maintain a semblance of control in uncertain situations. By focusing solely on positive outcomes, individuals believe they can stave off negative emotions and create a protective barrier against pain and disappointment. Several psychological factors contribute to this mindset. Firstly, society often promotes an ideal of constant happiness, equating positivity with strength and negativity with weakness. This cultural pressure can lead individuals to suppress their true feelings to fit this ideal. Secondly, toxic positivity can be a coping mechanism to manage stress and anxiety. 
By denying negative emotions, individuals may temporarily feel a sense of relief, though this avoidance ultimately exacerbates underlying issues. The impact on mental health is significant. Suppressing emotions can lead to increased stress, anxiety, and depression. When people are not allowed to express their true feelings, they may feel isolated and misunderstood. Over time, this emotional suppression can result in burnout and a diminished ability to cope with life's challenges. Understanding the psychological underpinnings of toxic positivity is essential for recognizing its presence in our lives. In the next chapter, we'll explore the signs that indicate you might be experiencing or perpetuating toxic positivity. Chapter 3. Signs you're experiencing toxic positivity. How can you tell if you're experiencing or perpetuating toxic positivity? It often manifests through certain phrases and behaviors that, while seemingly supportive, actually invalidate genuine emotions. Common phrases include, just stay positive, it could be worse, look on the bright side, or everything happens for a reason. These statements, though well-intentioned, can dismiss the complexity of someone's feelings and experiences. Another sign is an overwhelming need to appear happy and positive all the time, even when you're not feeling that way. This might involve forcing smiles, downplaying your own struggles, or avoiding conversations about negative emotions. It's a form of emotional suppression that prevents authentic expression and connection. You might also notice this in interactions with others. If you find yourself quickly offering positive spins on someone else's problems without first acknowledging their pain, you might be contributing to a toxically positive environment. For instance, telling a friend who is grieving, at least they lived a long life, might seem comforting but can actually minimize their loss and grief. Reflect on whether these well-meaning words and actions are preventing you or others from truly addressing emotions. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards fostering a more balanced and supportive approach to positivity. In the next chapter, we'll discuss how toxic positivity impacts relationships and the importance of validating others' feelings. Chapter 4. The Impact on Relationships Toxic positivity doesn't just affect individuals. It profoundly impacts relationships as well. Imagine confiding in a friend about a difficult breakup, only to be met with, just stay positive, you'll find someone better. While the intention might be to uplift, this response can feel dismissive and invalidating. It fails to acknowledge the pain and complexity of your emotions, creating a barrier to genuine connection. In romantic relationships, toxic positivity can lead to a lack of emotional intimacy. Partners might feel compelled to hide their true feelings to avoid being seen as negative or burdensome. This can result in unresolved conflicts and a growing emotional distance. Instead of feeling supported, individuals might start feeling isolated and misunderstood, eroding trust and closeness over time. Family dynamics can also suffer. Parents might inadvertently promote toxic positivity by telling their children to always look on the bright side without addressing their worries or fears. This can teach children to suppress their emotions and avoid seeking help when needed, leading to long-term emotional difficulties. Healthy relationships require empathy and validation. It's important to listen actively and acknowledge others' feelings before offering advice or positivity. This creates a safe space for honest communication and deeper connections. In the next chapter, we'll explore the cost of ignoring reality in favor of maintaining a positive outlook. Chapter 5. The Cost of Ignoring Reality What happens when we ignore reality in favor of maintaining a positive outlook? The consequences can be significant and far-reaching. When we choose to disregard the truth and focus solely on positivity, we miss the opportunity to address and solve underlying problems. This avoidance can lead to poor decision-making and repeated mistakes, 
as we fail to learn from past experiences. For instance, consider someone who continually downplays the severity of their financial troubles with statements like, it will all work out somehow. Without confronting the reality of their situation, they might continue to make poor financial choices, leading to increased debt and stress. Similarly, in professional settings, ignoring constructive criticism in favor of maintaining a positive self-image can hinder personal and career growth. Furthermore, the emotional cost of ignoring reality is profound. Suppressing negative emotions doesn't make them disappear, it merely pushes them beneath the surface, where they can fester and grow. This can lead to increased anxiety, depression, and a sense of disconnection from oneself and others. Confronting reality, though uncomfortable, is essential for growth and resilience. It allows us to acknowledge our challenges, learn from them, and move forward with a balanced perspective. In the next chapter, we'll discuss strategies for balancing positivity and realism to maintain a healthy emotional outlook. Chapter 6. Balancing Positivity and Realism So, how do we find the balance between positivity and realism? It starts with embracing the concept of realistic optimism. This approach combines maintaining a hopeful outlook with acknowledging and addressing challenges. It's about recognizing that life has its ups and downs and that it's okay to feel a range of emotions. One effective strategy is to practice mindfulness. Mindfulness encourages being present and fully experiencing each moment, without judgment. It allows us to observe our thoughts and feelings without immediately labeling them as good or bad. This can help in validating emotions and understanding the root causes of our stress or unhappiness. Journaling is another powerful tool. By writing down our thoughts and feelings, we can process them more deeply and gain insights into our emotional landscape. It's a way to confront reality in a safe and structured manner, allowing us to see patterns and identify areas that need attention. Another technique is to set realistic goals. Rather than focusing solely on positive outcomes, set achievable milestones that consider potential obstacles. This helps in maintaining motivation while being prepared for setbacks. Balancing positivity and realism involves recognizing the importance of both. It's about being hopeful and proactive while staying grounded in the realities of our circumstances. In the next chapter, we'll explore how to practice authentic positivity in our daily lives. Chapter 7. Practicing Authentic Positivity Authentic positivity involves being true to your emotions while maintaining a hopeful outlook. It's not about forcing happiness but finding genuine ways to cultivate a positive mindset. One key aspect is recognizing that it's okay to not be okay all the time. Embracing all emotions, both positive and negative, allows for a more balanced and honest life experience. Practicing gratitude can help foster authentic positivity. Take time each day to reflect on what you're grateful for, no matter how small. This practice shifts focus to the positive aspects of life without ignoring the challenges. It's about appreciating the good while acknowledging the existence of difficulties. Seeking support when needed is crucial. Reaching out to friends, family, or a therapist can provide a safe space to express and process emotions. Sharing your struggles with others can lead to deeper connections and mutual support, reinforcing that you don't have to face hardships alone. Being kind to yourself is also important. Practice self-compassion by treating yourself with the same understanding and kindness you would offer a friend. Acknowledge your efforts and forgive yourself for mistakes. Incorporating these practices into daily life can help build a foundation of genuine positivity. In the next chapter, we'll discuss the role of vulnerability and how embracing it can enhance personal growth and relationships. Chapter 8. Embracing Vulnerability Embracing vulnerability is a key component of authentic living and emotional well-being. 
Vulnerability means allowing yourself to be seen, imperfections and all, and being open about your true feelings and experiences. It's about dropping the facade of constant positivity and acknowledging that it's okay to be imperfect and to struggle. The first step in embracing vulnerability is recognizing its strength. Society often views vulnerability as a weakness, but in reality, it takes immense courage to be open and honest about our true selves. By showing vulnerability, we create opportunities for deeper connections with others, as it invites authenticity and empathy. Sharing your vulnerabilities with trusted friends or family can foster closer relationships. When you share your struggles and fears, you allow others to do the same, creating a supportive and understanding environment. This mutual exchange builds trust and emotional intimacy, enhancing the quality of your relationships. In the professional realm, vulnerability can lead to more authentic leadership and teamwork. Leaders who admit their limitations and ask for help can inspire their teams to do the same, promoting a culture of collaboration and continuous learning. Embracing vulnerability is not about exposing yourself to harm but about being true to your emotions and experiences. It allows for personal growth and more meaningful connections. In the next chapter, we'll explore practical tips for creating a supportive environment where vulnerability is encouraged. Chapter 9. Creating a Supportive Environment Creating a supportive environment starts with fostering a culture of empathy, understanding, and acceptance. It's about creating spaces where individuals feel safe to be vulnerable and express their true emotions without fear of judgment or ridicule. One way to create a supportive environment is by practicing active listening. When someone shares their feelings or experiences, listen attentively without interrupting or rushing to offer advice. Reflecting back what you've heard can show that you're truly engaged and empathetic. Validation is another crucial aspect of support. Acknowledge the validity of someone's feelings, even if you don't necessarily agree with them. Avoid minimizing their experiences or offering dismissive comments like, it's not that bad. Instead, show empathy and understanding, validating their emotions and experiences as real and important. Encouraging open communication is key. Create opportunities for honest conversations where people feel comfortable sharing their thoughts and feelings. This might involve regular check-ins, group discussions, or team-building activities that promote trust and openness. As a leader or influencer, you play a crucial role in setting the tone for the environment. By modeling vulnerability and authenticity, you can inspire others to do the same. This creates a ripple effect, fostering a culture of support and understanding that benefits everyone involved. Chapter 10. Call to Action In conclusion, while positivity is valuable, it becomes toxic when it ignores reality and suppresses true emotions. Toxic positivity can have detrimental effects on mental health, relationships, and personal growth. It's essential to recognize the signs of toxic positivity in ourselves and others and strive for a more balanced approach to positivity. Moving forward, I encourage you to reflect on your own attitudes towards positivity and authenticity. Embrace your vulnerabilities and allow yourself to be seen as you truly are. Practice gratitude, seek support when needed, and be kind to yourself and others. In your interactions with others, strive to be empathetic and understanding. Listen actively, validate emotions, and create a supportive environment where everyone feels valued and heard. Together, we can create a world where positivity is genuine and supportive, where authenticity is celebrated, and where vulnerability is seen as a strength. Thank you for joining me on this journey towards a more balanced and authentic approach to positivity. Remember, it's okay to not be okay sometimes, and that's a part of being human.